Hey guys, it's Coda. Welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't been here before, then welcome to my channel. So today's video is, I've been wanting to do for a while, but I was kind of waiting. And so since I checked my YouTube channel today and I realized that I was at a hundred subscribers. That may not seem like a lot of subscribers to you guys, but to me, that's a lot. And it, it happened quicker than I thought it would, and it means a lot. So I thought I'd kind of share, not a personal story, but it, it's funny. So I thought, I thought I'd share it with you. And it's my coming out slash how I got outed story. Because um, I, I actually didn't come out to my family per se. Um, it was kind of done for me, but it wasn't bad. So this isn't a sad video. It's funny and it has a happy ending, obviously. So let's get started. It was my junior year of high school. I was 15. We'd been in a relationship for probably about a month or so. And I guess he thought we were having problems or he thought I wasn't feeling very comfortable with the relationship, maybe just because it was my first gay relationship. Um, and a, a couple of people at school knew already, but this is about my family finding out. He thought there was something wrong in the relationship or whatever and he w wanted to talk about it. And so him and his best friend tried to call me and it was gonna, they were gonna do a three-way call. I don't even know how, how to do that anymore. While they're waiting for me to answer the phone, they were talking about it. They were talking about this and this problem and, which I don't even think there were that many problems. It was just kind of my first gay relationship. I was kind of still distant. I mean, cause I wanted it, but it was new. And I just, I, I wasn't completely comfortable in my skin yet. So, as they're talking amongst themselves, they don't realize that it stops ringing and our answering machine picks up. And so, while I'm not home, like, a good two minutes of the conversation gets recorded of them talking about our relationship and how she's telling him, it's okay, I'll come around, it's my first boyfriend, blah blah blah. And then, after they're talking, I guess they realize that they were trying to call me, and then it's not ringing anymore. They realized that they weren't just in a conversation by themselves. And they're like, oh my god, oh my god, it picked up on the answering machine, and like freaked out and hung up. So, my mom, I guess she knew for a day or two? I'm not sure. I never completely asked her. And I know she's gonna watch this video, and she's probably laughing, or she probably knows the rest of the story. Um, but she picked me up from school, and I hope I'm getting it right. I may not even know my coming out story, like, completely. Um, she came to pick me up from school, and on the way home, we were just sitting in the car, normal car ride, and she's like, you know, I love you no matter what, right? I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay, okay. She keeps driving, and then a few minutes later, she's like, you know, I'd love you and your sister no matter who you decided to be with, that's that's your choice. You know that, right? I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay, okay. I'm like, oh god, she knows. But how does she know? Crap, she knows! <laughs> I was to that point where I couldn't even say it to myself in the mirror. I literally couldn't say the words, I'm gay. And I was it was so terrifying. And I know that sounds really weird because a lot of people talk about it, but it really was a terrifying situation, just the whole thing, but I knew that's what I wanted, and that's who I was. I just recently discovered myself. I mean, I knew I was different. I knew that I didn't like girls like the guys liked girls. I realized that I liked girls because I'm like, oh, she's really gorgeous. She's this, she's... This. But it wasn't a sexual gorgeous. It's like, damn girl, you look good. So I just, I mean, I wasn't comfortable with it yet. And to find out that my mom somehow found out, it just kind of freaked me out a little. And I was, I was shocked. I, did, I didn't know how she knew. So we were in the car and I mean, it was, it wasn't awkward. I was just, I could tell she was thinking about it and she was trying to put stuff together. And I'm over here like sweating it out. I'm like freaking out trying to figure out how the hell did she find out? 
we get home, go in the house, and she tells me what what had happened, the call, and she just she got emotional because she felt like I was keeping a secret from her. But it wasn't so much a secret, it was just something that I had found out for myself and I wanted to be comfortable with it before I told everybody else. But she was hurt that I didn't share that part of me with her. And so she started crying and it made me want to cry. Like while I was changing in the bathroom, she was at the door crying, Ugh, which made me almost cry. But at the same time, I'm like, just leave me alone, mom. And finally, she was just like, are you? Are you gay? I'm like, yes, because I couldn't say it. So I had to wait for her to ask me the physical words, was I gay? And I said, yes. And she asked me, have you had any boyfriends before? I'm like, just this one. And I mean, there was, it was just the typical questions a mom asks or a parent asks when they find that kind of stuff out. But at the same time, my friends had showed up to pick me up and so I'm trying to like go out the door and like avoid the conversation. Like, she already knew, yes, that's the answer. No, I was, that was no more. No, I wasn't ready for any more. And so I was trying to leave and I was like, I'll be back later, blah, blah, blah. She's like, okay, blah, 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 I love you. Anyways, it was really awkward and really funny and like over the next few weeks we talked about it a little more and she told my dad for me because I I mean I couldn't even tell her obviously I was still I was so nervous and so young and so she told my dad for me and it took him about a week or so and and finally I mean of course my dad was okay with it he's the best dad ever he <laughs> his first thing he said to me was a gay joke and it had us all cracking up and it just broke the ice and it was it was great and I I don't even remember what the joke was I just think I think we were having my mom was like making sausage or something and I said I don't like sausage and he like turned it into a joke and it was just funny and it broke the ice and it made me feel so much better about myself and I really I really appreciate the way that my all my family helped handle it and this is becoming a serious situation and I didn't want it to be serious like this but it really did it helped a lot and now I'm to a point in my life where I'm comfortable with it and I owe it to them because they helped me through that hard time and I really didn't have to go to many friends I mean I only had one friend that were like two friends I only had like two friends that really knew and so I was able to talk to my family more than I, like before I was able to talk to my friends so it was really helpful. Um, so yeah that was my funny, I think it's funny now thinking back, I'm like son of a bitch I got outed out by my first boyfriend who was trying to three way call me and was too stupid to realize that the answering machine had picked up. So I just thought that was a funny situation and I wanted to share it with you guys and I hope that for anybody that is going through anything like this, you're gay, bi, lesbian, transgendered, anybody who's going through that kind of situation, I just want to let you know that even if you don't have family that's accepting or only some of it is accepting, you're only there till you're 18 and then you're free to go on your own, I mean, I mean you can, after that you can decide what to do with your life. It was really easy for me and I hope it's easy for you guys and if not, hang in there, ask questions, talk to other people, I mean there's plenty of YouTubers here including myself that would love to talk to you guys and help you guys with all this. So I hope my story helped brighten your day because <laughs> it brightened my life and that sounds really cheesy but it really helped me I can't believe needless to say is the relationship was over like who does that really okay guys well that is it for this video if you guys really like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up cuz you love me hit that subscribe button to let me know that you guys like my videos that I make for you guys every week and if you hit the subscribe button, then you can keep up with the videos I make for you guys every week. Um, leave a comment down below letting me know about your story or any questions you guys have. 
what you think of my story. Do you think it was funny? I mean, I think it was funny. And, I mean, it all turned out for the better, so... Every, everything just, like, fell into place for me, which was, which was nice. I liked it. So, um, yeah. Until next time, guys. I love you, and... Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, why am I doing this?